Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for him. Yeah, if he objects. We are here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive, if necessary. Or... you can. Lawrence, you in there? Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Hey! Hey! All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Still a little sticky. Stuck to the bed a little. My 
dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She came by to get some things, that's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself. In the heart. Oh, I thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck, Georgie. Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? See who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Is he looking 
for something. Hey! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! On the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? The same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you, exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no. to... I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. What happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now.
Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's a Popper's apartment, Big B, with a door and all. What do you want? If you're gonna say something, out with it! What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless bubbles. <laughs> I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. You bleeding? Why, is that? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Over here. On 
the poker. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. The new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? You don't have spares? Separate key under the mat or something? In this neighborhood? Are you off your rocker? If it ain't chained to me billfold, the mungy rats will take it away as soon as they catch a starlit twinkle. Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in me own bloody home. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You wanna tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he'd done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. 
I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I we'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. 
It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Big B. I... Um, just be careful, please. Don't worry, this will be over soon. I hope so. What do you want, Sheriff? Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here, that's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? stools in this place but there's only one right next to you you're gonna order something or are you just here to bother my customers you know what I mean give me a Midas gold you want a lime no. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> Think that's funny? 
Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. You're out of paper towels and the... Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grim. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you, big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. Not a good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I... I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. 
Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you've got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Oh, good. Out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Enough. This never happened. I'm good. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. I 
get a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Fuck. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you?